Hi, it's Brad from bradthepainter.com and today I want to show how to mask a window for spraying or mask anything for anything really. And the centerpiece here is the uh, 3M hand masker. This has been around a long time. I think 3M had the patent years ago and they were the only company making it. I don't, don't think they I don't think they cared about competition because we would drop these and it would snap right here on this arm. That was the weak point. But now you can see they've really improved it here. But I haven't dropped this yet, so I and I don't plan to. Um, there's two ways to buy this. You can buy the kit, which if you don't have one, you should buy the kit. It's probably cheaper. Even if it's not, you get everything you need. You know what you're getting. Uh, uh, you get if you buy the kit, you get the blade, you get the blade, you get the the hand held unit. You get a roll of tape, and you get a I think you get a roll of paper and or or plastic, which is nice too. They sell plastic in rolls that when when after you cut your section of uh, plastic, it unfolds. And you know it's it's a it's a it's a good deal. I don't I don't really use that that um, that method, but so uh, to put it together, you just uh, this is I'm going to use inch and a half uh, tape, and so along here it's marked uh, different different sizes, and you don't actually you don't even need that that decal. You can just hold your your tape up, which is going to go about here, and you, you want your blade to cut all of the tape and and. You don't really need it to stick out. You have you, you prefer it to have it there, and and you just line it up about there. You find the hole and you snap. And this is a very tight snap. And then to get it apart, you really don't. Please don't don't try to twist it off because you'll. Well, I don't know. I guess you could break that arm, but I haven't since I broke an arm a long time ago. I never did that again. You you just snap it with a with a screwdriver carefully, and it comes apart. So that's it. So um, you put your, your tape on, and this is uh, not brain surgery. Uh, you make, make sure it's going in the forward direction. You put your, your plastic or your paper on, and get it right in. And then here's the magic. You, the tape comes along, and you, you can sort of start it, start them together. Nice thing about well, at least it used to be that you buy a roll of tape and you buy a roll of paper and they were the same length and you would finish both at the same time unless you got crazy and took some tape that you needed in a in a in a pinch we just keep a second roll of tape in our pocket or if, uh, for s some of the smaller painters they would they would take a they would take tape and put it over their over their uh on their wrist uh what we would do actually is uh um cut a bunch of pieces of tape and I'll explain these different colors and we just tack them on our chest and we'd have we'd be covered and anytime we needed a, a, a quick a, a tack we would have it there so uh, th that's how it works so then th so then you, there's a little arm here which presses down on the tape and you just give it a twist and the blades quite sharp so you get you get a really nice piece of, of uh, paper so let's say I'm masking this uh, uh, window for spray. If I were masking for painting, I wouldn't be masking. I don't. I don't mask uh, unless I absolutely have to. And uh, with a good brush, if I were gonna, if I were to say I were painting this frame against this window, I don't want to get any paint on the window. But still, with a purdy brush, purdy p u r d y brush, uh, it makes such a straight line that I don't really worry. So so. What, we, what I would do for spraying, though, is I would take a piece of plastic that is at least as, at least as big as the, the glass, and uh, I, would I would tack this up. Not, not for the, no, I would not try to get in the corner yet, not at that time. Oh, look, and I've got some tape on my chest. And uh, actually, I don't care. I could get tape up on the frame, and I'll show you why I don't care in a second. And the same thing in the corner. So I've got some... I've got some tape up on the frame. It's not going to matter to me. Then I take a long piece of uh, tape and paper, the length, the width of this, approximately. I would just guess, and then I would, uh, uh, starting in the corner, I would come up on the frame, and uh, and I'll and I'll explain why. Uh, I don't care. I don't try to. Um, I would, you know, pack it down. I don't try to spray right to a. a a sharp line. I found that it's not worth it. If you if you mess up even a little bit, the spray is going to come underneath. It's going to get on the frame. It's going to get on the glass. You're going to spend way more time 
doing cleaning up one window than you would just coming along with the brush after after it's dry and you take the plastic down you just come along with the brush and, and paint it twice it's it really with a good brush it, it really doesn't take any time so then that's done that's sprayed I guess the only uh, last thing I wanted to talk about and I would take this <laughs> I would take this down and I would reuse it if, it, if it's good tape which this is uh, and if it's if it didn't stick uh, I would hang on to these or maybe they would at least some some part of it would be salvageable for to cover a, a you know a, a, a fixture in a bathroom or something there, there's no no point in just throwing these away when they're still perfectly good so then the last thing I wanted to talk about was the types of tape that come with uh, that, you, that you can use in painting and uh, here are the three basic types. I know there are more. There's something called frog tape, which is impenetrable to water, which is great because you, you paint it and the paint cannot uh, bleed through and get uh, and even get uh, the, what's behind it moist, which is great. It's expensive. This uh, green tape, blue tape, and, and the old painter, the old masking tape, this is the only kind that we had for the longest time. And this uh, tape is uh, really, uh, this glue on this tape is really, uh, not high quality, let's say. Even the stuff made in America is not high quality. If I were to put this on glass and the sun were to beat on it for even a few hours, you go to take this tape off and it would leave a, look, it actually left a tiny little bit of glue just in doing that. This, these better quality tapes can't do that. They won't do that. This is the 3M blue tape. Uh, I'm not really sure what they call it. This is the green painter's tape. Both of these are, the blue is better than the green, but both of these you could put on glass in the sun for a week or a month even in some cases. And you could go and take it off and no glue would stick to the, to the glass. So is that worth a little extra money over this stuff? Which you, in some paint stores, you can't even get this tan stuff. They figured it out, it, it, it doesn't really work. But I would special order it because it is useful because sometimes you just need to mask something for half an hour and it's dirt cheap as compared to the green tape and the blue tape which you know I think this blue roll I think this was something like seven to ten dollars something like that when it was new that's uh, expensive and so I'm cheap you know what can I say <laughs> but anyway that's it I, I hope uh, that helps with your with your masking masking jobs uh, this will all be on uh, the sprayer posts up on uh, bradthepainter.com okay good luck <laughs>